Hello and welcome to this assembly instruction for Model Railroad 3D State Cars. Uh, the car we're going to build in this video is the Swedish State Railway uh, Type O, but it's valid for all state cards in the same design. In this video we'll turn the STLs files into printable files for your 3D printer. We'll print cure and paint the models. When buying a set of files like this you need to convert them into printable files for your printer and to do that there is a software provided with a printer and in the workshop you can open the 3D models and then it will look like this. So this is uh, the board without supports and then it's just called board version 7 or whatever version it's at. Then it's the supported board which is adapted for 3D print and tested and evaluated so it actually works on a range of different printers. So this is the file that we're going to print. Now in some cases there are also files which are called underscore all like this one all version 7 and this one it's a buffer all. So that means that this file contains all the buffers you need. And in this case, it's to build four cars. So now I would like to say a word about mixing different items in the same print. So in this case, we're mixing the board with buffers and print them at the same time. This might result in lower quality of both items. So if you have problems with that, print just one part at a time. So let's now open this chassis. So open and then it will open like this. It prints in an angle uh, on supports uh, like it. So perfect. But then in addition to this, we need to make some settings. Of course, we need to select that we have the Photon Mono 2 printer. That is done in the dialog down here. You also need to make some settings for a layer thickness. Uh, the layer thickness should be set to 003 millimeter. This is very important because the default setting is 005 and that will give you a lot of layer lines all over your print and you don't want that. I found that uh, a good exposure time for this mix of resin 30% tough and 70% ABS like was 2.6 seconds. I leave the off time to one second but I increase the bottom exposure time to 50 seconds and as you see when hovering over these figures you get some information of what the setting will do for you. Besides from these two changes I also change the lift height here the set lift height i changed that from six to seven millimeters and that was both for the bottom layers and the normal layers down here and this is to allow the resin to float in under the print head after each layer and this is most often necessary if you have a lower temperature in the room than 25 degrees. So with these uh, settings changed like this, we're ready to hit slice. And then the software will transform this uh, 3D model in STL format to something our printer understands. We save that to USB memory, stick that into the uh, 3D printer and then hit print. And well, that's... Uh, about it. So this takes a few hours and when ready it looks like this and the printout is ready for cleaning. So we're removing the print head and then removing the printout from the print head into the wash and cure machine. So now it's going to be washed four minutes uh, with alcohol so all uh, the excess resin goes away from the model and when that is ready it looks like this. So I'm leaving this to dry for a few minutes and then I start to peel away all of the supports. It might look confusing and a lot but actually it's a pretty straightforward process. I just cut away all the supports around the edge of the model 
like this. I'm using a scalpel for this. And when done, well, then it's just to bend that uh, plate a bit and your model will come off just beautifully. Now, besides the chassis, we also need to print the board and uh, the flatbed floor, the neem couplings, the buffers and the stakes, of course. Leave to dry overnight and then post cure for four minutes. The purpose with the post curing is to harden and toughen the parts uh, for our cars, which makes it more durable. Now, with a 120 grit sanding paper, we're sanding away the remaining supports of the chassis. With that done, I'm adding primer to all parts. This is very important to avoid any warping later on. With that done, we can fit the buffers in place. Now, one should be curved and the other flat. So the one you see here to the left is curved and this one's flat. So make sure you get them right. Before assembling the neem mechanism, we uh, need to put a drop of oil on the sliding surfaces. One on the front surface and one on the back surface. And uh, any excess oil needs to be removed with a cotton swab. So here I'm inserting one of the neem mechanism and you see here the land some oil on top that needs to be removed with a cotton swab. With those two in place, we glue the board in place. For that I use fast set glue, same I use for fixing the buffers to the chassis. And at the same time I glue the flatbed floor in place. It's important that the flatbed floor is properly glued to the chassis because it holds the neem mechanism. And then we can assemble the two neem springs. Well, then we're ready to paint the car. And for that, I'm using an airbrush, which is definitely to be preferred. You can always paintbrush it, but it's uh, really hard to get that perfect uh, surface you probably want with this level of 3D print quality. So these cars were... Uh, all painted in one color, which makes life easy for me. It's a kind of red-brown uh, color all over, except for the buffer, which I will paint black. I paint the sticks using the same color, of course. Now, if you don't have an airbrush, it's uh, quite possible also to do all this paint, paint work using a spray can. And here you have the buffer detail. You can see that the left one is curved and this, the right one was uh, straight. And this is some view underneath the car. So let's um, assemble all of the stakes uh, to the stake car. And uh, with that done, we can just put a drop of oil in each of uh, the ends of this uh, wheels. Wheels can be bought at your hobby store. Uh, they're available for all kind of track systems. And as you see, I have not prepared or done anything. I just put it in and it rolls perfectly. And then we snap in the couplings too. I've selected Marklin short couplings for this car. And then I just paint this little lever here in red. And then we're done. I was just uh, wanted, I wanted to uh, weather the car as well. So I put some dark brown uh, um, turpentine based uh, weathering in over the the acrylic paint here and the reason for not using acrylic is that it will partly dissolve the paint underneath with that done we can put our uh, 3d printed stake car on the tracks and try it out here i've also uh, added a cargo this is stacks of lumber it's included in the set cargo 0003 from model railroad 3d and as you see, the car is working really nicely on a range of different tracks. It has been tested not only on Märklin M tracks, as you see here, but also on C tracks, on K track, and also on the Trix C track, uh, which is a two rail system. It's uh, also working with a range of different couplings. This uh, coupling here, you see, is Märklin short couplings but it has also been tested with the Fleischmann Profi and the standard uh, couplings as well. And it works all fine. Thank you for watching this assembly video. I wish you happy printing.